guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another math video. Uh, this video is on um, finding the range of a of a quadratic. Let me see my pen tablet crapped out here for a second. All right, so let's see if this works. So, um, if you got a quadratic, so let's see. So we're gonna find the range. So the range are well, if you don't know what the range is, it's um, the possible values of y. So, um, if you have a quadratic, basically there are two possibilities of what that graph is going to look like. It's either going to open up like this, and basically what determines that is that the, your a value, your leading coefficient, is greater than zero, so positive, the number that's in front of the x squared, or it opens down, so that would be created by a leading coefficient of less than zero. So each quadratic has a vertex, and in my class I like to call the vertex HK, where H is the y coordinate of the vertex, and K, or sorry, x coordinate, and what eight and K is the y coordinate. So if you look at this graph, that in this case everything is above that k value. So everything is greater than the k value. In this case when a graph opens up, this is where the where we have a minimum or our minimum value. So basically what that means is your range is given by y is greater than or equal to that k value of your vertex. So the y value of your vertex. And in a case like this, everything is below that um, value. So this would represent a maximum point, so the k value of your vertex is actually the maximum, so y would be less than or equal to k. So everything is less than that value of k. So the question is, how do we determine this from a, um, you know, a function? So if we have something like this, so we're going to find the range of this guy. So y is equal to negative 2x squared um, plus x, actually we call it plus, um, 4x plus 1. So if you look at it, first of all, you got to recognize is this graph opens down. So the reason why is because a is equal to negative 2. a is less than 0, so it's a negative. It's going to open down. So the, now I want to find my y coordinate of the vertex. So the x coordinate of the vertex is given by negative b over 2a, the axis of symmetry formula. So this will find the x coordinate of the vertex. So negative 4 over 2, and a is negative 2. I'll sub it right in there. That b right there, that's b. So this is a, b, and c. So we end up with negative 4 over negative 4, which is 1. So that gives us the x coordinate. Now we are interested in the y coordinate, so what I have to do now is sub that x back in here. So negative 2 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 1. And then that gives us so negative 1 squared is 1 times negative 2, so that's negative 2 plus 4 plus 1. So that's negative 2 plus 5, so that's 3. So my y coordinate is 3. So I have a vertex of 1, 3. So really for range, we're interested in this guy, in the y coordinate of the vertex. So since this opens down, just like this guy, so it opens down. Has a vertex here of 1, 3. Our values for y are all less than 3. So we can write, so I'll write this in set notation, write our curly brackets, y such that y is less than or equal to the y coordinate of the vertex, which is 3. And then y belongs to a real number. So y can be a real number. And there it is. There's my range. So that's all you need to do. What you need to do is find whether or not the graph opens up or down. And then you need to find the y coordinate of the vertex. So figuring out whether it opens up or down. And then find the y coordinate of the vertex. If it opens up, it's going to be greater than or equal to that y coordinate of the vertex. If it opens down, it's going to be less than or equal to. All right, guys. So I hope this video helps you find the range of a quadratic. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in class.